everybody welcome to Kujo's Candles Call my name is Marie thank you guys so very much for your support to my old subscribers to my new subscribers to those who have been subscribed to my channel um, thank you guys so much and to the new subscribers actually welcome thank you <laughs> for subscribing in today's video I will teach you how to properly center your wicks also give you tips on what size of wicks is right for your vessel these steps are really important if you are a new candle maker or if you struggle centering your way. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get into it. So before we begin, there are tools that you will need for this. One is a measuring tape or a roller. Two, it's your vessels. Three, it's the wick. Four, the center, uh, wick centering tool. The wick centering tool is definitely optional. You do not need to have this, but if you have it with you, it's really, really good. So if you're using cotton wicks, I do not think that this video will be helpful to you. But if you choose to use the um, wood wick or you're using wood wick, it's totally fine. What I really need you to remember is that when you are measuring your vessel's diameter, two inches diameter, equals uh, extra small three inches diameter equals small wick 3.5 inches diameter is equal to medium four inches diameter equals to large five inches diameter equals uh, extra large wicks so when I say wicks, I mean wooden wicks. This video is only for wooden wick users because I don't have enough knowledge on cotton wicks. So with that being said, let me show you guys how I actually uh, measure my diameter. So, um, as I have mentioned before, you will need a measuring tape or a ruler. You will need your vessels. You will need uh, a wick holder and you will need your wicks. So I have mentioned before that there are different types of wick holders there. So this one is for cotton wicks. Although this video is not for cotton wicks, but this wick centering tool is for cotton wicks. Okay? So these wicks right here are for either cotton wicks or wood wicks. So I got this one from 1617 and uh, they are really useful and you have to know the size of your vessel to be able to order one um, that will fit inside of your vessel okay so I just wanted to mention that real quick before we get into this um, demonstration so let's start let's start with um, the uh, the 12 ounce vessel I got this vessel from Wood, Wooden Wick Co and it's really really beautiful it's one of my favorite vessels and um, so you can use a measuring tape right here so when you look at this it's basically 3.5 right we already know that um, 3 inches diameter is a small wick so 3.5 inches diameter that's for medium wick size which is for this um, vessel here so uh, when you take your measuring tape, put it across um, your vessel and just check the diameter right here. So we have 3.5. So what we're going to do is um, take our medium wick, uh, wood wick right here and that will be for this vessel. This vessel is 12 ounce fill weight. So um, yeah. I already have my wick holder in there so I just wanted to show you that now we are going to use the roller for the other one so we have this my favorite number one favorite uh, vessel this one is from 1617 and I love it I love it very much uh, it's really classy it's really elegant it's beautiful and simple so I love this vessel so we're going to use the uh, roller for this you can use the roller for the big one as well but I just want to show you different options uh, so this one this roller right right here I mean this vessel the diameter is three inches okay three inches diameter 
and when we take the measuring tape it will give us the same thing and that will be uh, a bit over three but it's still three so um, either way just because because you haven't passed 3.5 so it's still under three it's still around three so um, yeah this one gives the same thing so there you have it right there three inches so what you will need is a a small wood wick for that okay so I already have my wick holder in there and this is perfect for this size of uh, vessel okay so we are going to try this method with the um, with the tin so this one right here is a six ounce tin and it gives you the same measurement as the eight ounce vessel so right here we have three three inches diameter okay so you will need another medium wig for this okay so right here my favorite um candle my first candle that i ever ever made and uh, it smells so good I think I think I should finish burning this uh, but I just realized that this one has the wrong size of wick in there so I know this diameter is already small so uh, with that being said this one is about almost two inches okay so for that we are going to use an extra small wick all right so an extra small wick will work great for this and um so yeah so that's for that so now that we have already measured the diameter of all of these uh vessels right here uh what we're going to do next is go ahead and pour our uh, wax in there and make candles there you go guys this is the end of this video i hope you like it and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and also comment your questions down below uh if you did not give it a thumbs down so i know uh what videos uh to make for the future with that being said i'll talk to you guys later bye